I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We have heat and then we have a cold front and we have some tropical moisture all coming together during the day tomorrow and that could mean some strong thunderstorms. So be weather aware, especially tomorrow night. That's when I'm expecting that cold front to move through. So two rounds of storms. Let's set the scene though by talking about the temperatures that we have right now. We're sitting at 30 in Toronto. It's 31 in Goderich, Sarnia and Windsor. Heat warnings are still up. They're going to stay in place during the day tomorrow. We're just waiting on some of this moisture to come working its way through. And you can see it on the bottom part of your screen. This is the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Cristobal. It is working its way into the upper Great Lakes. But the outer bands of this are what are going to swing through tomorrow morning. And then we're going to see the cold front coming through with the secondary system that's back in behind it throughout the overnight hours into Thursday. So the first round is there. Chance for a pop-up storm. And then we're going to roll this out. Watch that cold front develop. Line of thunderstorms at about 11 o'clock. Back in behind it, it's fairly spotty in terms of showers. We'll likely just see a partly cloudy sky. But during the day tomorrow, there is that risk of tornadoes tomorrow night here across southern Ontario, something we're keeping an eye on. So do you know what your action plan is if you have a tornado warning in your area? Well, best thing to do, get to the interior of your home. We're talking these areas here that are highlighted in green. Bathrooms that have either no window or a small window or a hallway or a closet or underneath the stairs, those are usually some of the safer spots in the home. If you have a basement, that's the ideal place for you to go if that tornado warning is issued in your area. Cover yourself up, protect yourself. That will definitely help things out. So we do have a thunderstorm potential and I can't rule out the tornado threat during the day tomorrow, mainly for areas west of Toronto, but I still want to keep it in play. 20 is how we're going to start today with one round of thunderstorms, spotty storms through midday, and then we'll hold off on the really strong stuff throughout the evening. We're talking winds gusting in excess of 100 to 110 kilometers per hour. Daytime highs will be near 31. It'll feel close to 40, but that's sort of a secondary headline to the uh, that storm potential. It'll stay windy through the day on Thursday, gust to 70 kilometers per hour and 22 in the forecast. We have 19 degrees on Friday, 18 on Saturday, and then starting to warm back up into the middle part of next week. There is a couple of question marks in the forecast there for the end of next week. There's a cutoff area of low pressure that's going to be to our south. If it wiggles a little further to the north, we do have the possibility of seeing some rain. But we do get an opportunity to track those storms tomorrow evening and check back with us and we'll let you know what you can expect as we head into tomorrow night.